Let's talk about some unbiased sampling methods. It's really important when talking about sampling that you keep the terms from experimental design separate. Terms like blocking and blinding apply to experiments. All of these are methods to choose a sample. Let's talk about a simple random sample or an SRS. A simple random sample gives every sample of the same size the same chance of being selected. The first step in a simple random sample is to label everyone in the population with a number. Well, let's do that. Consider these eight names to be our population. Let's number them. We'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So our population is labeled 0 to 7, so we have 8 members in our population. Say we want a simple random sample of size 4. Well, to do this, we either need to use a random table of digits or a random number generator on the calculator. Let's use the calculator. I'm going to use the calculator command rand int, and I'll do 0, 7, which is the max and min of the population numbers. I'm going to repeat this command as many times as it takes to get four unique numbers. So let's do that. I get 1, 4, 6, two. Those numbers will correspond to the people who will be in our sample. So we'll have Angela, she's number one. Caitlin is number four. Dan is number six. And Bob is number two. That's a simple way to do a simple random sample. Let's talk about cluster sampling. Cluster sampling is another method of random sampling, but this time the members of the population are already in clusters or groups. Let's pretend that the same eight names from before are living together in houses. We still need to use some level of randomization, so we still need to number the people in the population, but this time we'll number the clusters instead of the individuals. So let's do that. We'll number our houses 0, 1, 2, and 3. We still need to use the table of random digits or the calculator, so let's do that. We want to select a sample again of size 4. So I'll use the calculator command rand int 0, 3. This time I'm only going to need to get two random numbers because we have two people in each of our clusters. When I do that, I get 1, 2. So our sample will be house 1, which is Bob and Brianna, and house 2, which is Caitlin and Chris. That's a cluster sample. Let's talk about stratified random sampling. In a stratified random sample, you break the population up into groups, or strata, based on some certain variable. In this case, I broke those same eight names up into males and females. A stratified random sample is a great way to ensure that your sample represents the population. Let's do this. We're going to take still a sample of size 4. So we're going to take an SRS from each of these two groups. Let's number the people in our groups. We'll start at 0 again. 0, 1, 2, 3. And since we're using the calculator, I'll just continue on 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's do the simple random sample from each of these two groups. So I'm going to use the calculator command rand int 0, 3. And we'll repeat that as many times as it takes to get two unique numbers. And then down here, I'll do the calculator command rand int 4, 7. When I do the first command, I get 0 and 2. When I do the second command, I get 6 and 7. So that means those people will be in my sample. So Adam is 0 and Chris is 2. Caitlin is 6 and Debbie is 7. That's a stratified random sample.